it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today is Craftsmas Season 3, Episode 30, and we're going to be dye sublimating this mug. Now, if you're not familiar with what dye sublimation is, dye sublimation is a process. You buy a printer. I have the Sawgrass SG400. There are a lot of other printers out on the market, and it uses special ink that it prints out on pretty much plain paper. I use plain paper to do mine but there is also sublimation paper. So you print it out and then you heat it up and it turns that ink into a gas and then it bonds permanently. So we're gonna be doing this mug with it and these are sublimatable mugs that I bought on Amazon. And then I have my design already printed out um, and this design is available on my Patreon page for my $10 or more a month patrons. Now again, because this is a dye sublimatable design, that means that this isn't an SVG. So you don't use this like with your Cricut, you use this with your printer. So. I've also got my mug heat press preheated to 400 degrees for four minutes. Um, and sometimes if you have a mug heat press, and I know that there are other ways to do this, you can heat them in the oven and tape it on. So you may have to practice with time and temperature depending on your mug press or how you're heating the, the sublimation art on there. So other than that, you need some thermo tape, your artwork, your mug, and how you're going to heat it. So if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, we'll go over how to make this. Okie dokie. So as you can see, I have my mug press set up right here. Mine is a Phoenix Fire mug press and I've had this for years. So whenever you're printing dye sublimation, you want to make sure to mirror it because as you can see, it is backwards. So we're going to take our cup and line up our design because you can still kind of see through the paper and see where you're putting it. Okay. And I'm just grabbing, this is the thermo tape. We sell it on our website as well. So if you're interested in it, okay. So now I've got that placed on there. So now what I'm going to do is place it in my mug press and make sure the entire design is covered. Okay. Slowly close it. And now my time and temperature is going to count down. So as soon as it's done, we'll take it out, let it cool, and then remove the paper and we'll show you the finished project. So right now, it's just kind of letting everything go. And I know it's hard to read the digital timer on here because it does look a little funny, but it is actually counting down the way that it's supposed to. So as I said, I'm leaving mine in for four minutes and this gets extremely hot so and remember if you overheat these you can burn the cups but that's part of it is again it's trial and error figuring out what your machine does and working with it so I mean right now this is pretty much all I do and my mug press right here this is an adjustment to adjust how tight this is because it will hold different size cups in it so anyways, we're gonna let this continue to go and then we'll go from there. So I'll come back in a couple of minutes and show you the end result. Okie dokie, so my mug is almost through heating. So I wanted y'all to kind of see the end product. And if you hear that whining sound in the background, it's my printer doing cleanings. There's not much I can do. So mine has a timer to let you know when it's finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat press off. So this is kind of what the mug looks like. So I'm gonna try to do this without burning the crud out of myself because trust me, that is so easy to do. Okay. And then we're just going to 
hold the mug and remove the paper and that's what she looks like so if you'll give me a minute to change the camera angle we'll go over everything we did Okay, so look how cute the mug came out. Now, as you can see down here at the bottom, it is a little bit faded because I didn't have that part covered in the heat press as much as I'd like, but look how adorable this looks. It has those yellow, orange, brown tones for cozy season, which is definitely screams fall. And if you're interested in seeing more of these for like Christmas, let me know and we can definitely add another mug in for Christmas time. But don't forget to check out all my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. But I guess that's it. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.